Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Richard Hammond! <laughs> Are you the same person that you were before? Yes, I mean, the doctors were worried because it's brain damage about, you know, personality change or whatever. But no, the only difference really between me now and me before the crash is I like celery now and I didn't. <laughs> didn't so you're still shouty, you're still fighty. Yes. And if I take you to the pub, are you still going to want to punch me in the face after 15 minutes? Yes, though that's, to be honest, more your personality than mine. <laughs> and your hard We don't have time for this. A lot of the plant will be going backwards as well as forwards. So anyone walking behind the plant must have a chaperone with them. Just beware the rabbit holes, please. Don't need breaking ankles or sprained ankles. Six it's days of this, we'll have a stick one day of work. Telling you which piece of PPE you must wear. Just get over and above your general PPE. Any questions? Can we start now? Not until you're suited and booted, I'm afraid. Where are we dressed? Yeah. Can't see my genitals. Full speech. The Parthenon, the pyramids, the Great Wall of China. It's a sign a shining beacon of ambition. And today, gentlemen, the D5481 will join that list. Shall build this road in a day. All resurfacing one will last for a thousand years. This is not the end. This is not the beginning. This is not the beginning of the end. It is not even. With the man motivated nicely, we soon had the old surface cleared and had started to lay the bitumen, which glues the new tarmac in place. Wait, James. What? If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing quickly. No. Well. Quickly. Well. Quickly. Well. Quickly. Well. quickly. Well. Still, overall, things were moving along nicely. Man at the D5481, things are looking good. I'm seeing machines moving about now. Some say he once threw a microwave oven at a tramp. <laughs> and that long before anyone else, he realised that Jade Goody was a racist, pig-faced waste of blood and organs. <laughs> We need it. Crank that out to the max and change that calendar. It's far too calming and relaxing. <laughs> no! Come on! Go! Fast! Get on with it! Ah! Another one! I cracked the whip and even introduced an incentive scheme. I want you to go around the wind, OK? I'll pay your speeding fines. Men of the D5481. This is our darkest hour. We will not allow Adolf Hammond to ruin our plans for this great, this wonderful, this man. Shut up. We shall not go quietly into the night. We have faced adversity in the day shift. Can I have cotton chips 75 times? The night is dark, the road is long, and we're far from our families. But don't worry, gentlemen of D5481, because I have music to take us through the night. Check it out. Let's put me off the sausage. What all, James? At 4 a.m., there were still 700 yards to go, and the men were flagging. So, I brought out the motivational big gun. ...of another winter of discontent. And we're Mrs. coming slowly, Mrs. Thatcher. painfully... Yeah. ...to Motivate an men. understanding. Mm, this is going yeah. well. And I hope it will be followed by a winter of common sense. Yes! I like that one. Look, that's a little bit, OK? 
That's perfect. It isn't. <laughs> we did our best, but the men from the council didn't seem impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Oh, come on! I'm coming! You're the one that's been shouting all day. So there you are. People of Bidford on Avon in just under one day. Your road is open. Glad to be of service. Let's get the car settled. Fourth gear, 5,000 revs. <laughs> The climb from 200 to 300 kilometers an hour was over in just 9.4 seconds. The world viewers is a total blur. It's no wonder Michael Schumacher retired. He's slower than me. This sort of speed, this engine is sucking in as much air in a minute as I breathe in four days. <laughs> That's as fast as I'm ever going to go in a car. Incredible. That is... It's made by ice water. Hey, now, Jaguar have made a concept car. Well, well not another one. That's why they never make any money, isn't it? Because they just keep making concept cars all the time instead of just making cars that you can buy. Oh, I know. They haven't understood that if you sell a car, you get money. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, this one, OK, they say, which we've got a picture of it here, OK, they say that is going to be the next S-Type. It'll look exactly the same as that. Well, if that's true, that's fantastic news. It looks brilliant. But no, it does. I went to see it in the flesh the other day, and the designer was there, and he said, I assure you, the S-Type will look exactly like that. If that car comes out like that, I will cut my left leg off, beat myself to death with it. <laughs> no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be so confident, because you see, my car, I think, on a racetrack, you will find that... <laughs> Seconds. Listen, you can right. stop being quite so cocky about it because your Audi hasn't won anything yet. Remember, it's been, it's not, it's not the best looking, it's the most expensive. It's not the most practical. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and we're mm -hmm. about to find out that it isn't the fastest either when my Mazda beats it. Ha! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that that is it. 64, 115. So, 64, 115. $1,000. Yeah. What if I gave you $1,000 for it? $1,000? Mm. Some say that he's a CIA experiment that went wrong and that he only eats cheese. All we know is he's not the Stig, but he is the Stig's American cousin. <laughs> If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. You've got your comfort in, you've got your best western, you've got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. It's not the holiday program, it's the truth. A trailer? No, the Freedom Grill, 500. A grilling system? It's a grilling system. What is it? <laughs> I have been... No. No way. Look at that. Drop tailgate, cooking platform. What do you think? Gordon <laughs> Ramsay hasn't got anything like that in his kitchen. Have you got anything that good, James? No. <laughs> right. I got a clothes rack. <laughs> what? Yeah. Look at my perfectly pressed linen jacket. Yeah. And here, if you look, is a shower. In your car? Yep. Well, where do you get the water from, then? 
That comes from the cool box in the back, this tube. And then you just plug this into the cigarette lighter, hit that button, refreshing the shower. I bet you're jealous. OK, sit around. The uh, power steering pump really is on its last legs. I've got a terrible wheel wobble. Uh, but I'm cool for the first time since I've set off. Main course. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking how long I've been in the sun putting that tent up. Why? Because what I'm seeing, <laughs> do you love this, is a cow on the roof of your Camaro. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That is a cow it on is. there. Not to go. Yes, there you go! Hey, Jeremy. What? I'm better. I can't see a cow on the roof of your Camaro anymore. I'm I not hungry. Done. What? I'm not hungry. You... It stinks, Jeremy. They really built these old buses. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'm just hitting it with a spatula. Another mosquito just bit my face. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to notice, isn't it? <laughs> Those pathetic, lager-swilling, barbecuing, redneck thugs that I call my co-presenters have vandalised my car. Oh. Now, are you all gay looking to see how long it takes to get beat up in a hick town? I'm not gay. I'm married. I've got three children. Uh, no, we're not. No. We just sort of decorated our cars in a distinctive manner. NASCAR sucks. Country and Western is rubbish. Guess what? You're in a hick town, man. We're going to die now. Don't That's it. That. Rocks started pelting our vans. <laughs> For the next few moments, our TV programme became a radio show. Okay, 40 to 60 in second gear. One second! One! It's amazing because it's not just more usable than a Ferrari, more practical, but I think out here in the real world with crests and dips and bumps and blind brows, I think it's faster as well. And we begin this week <laughs> with, 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 <clears throat> with the Porsche 911. <laughs> More specific. Well, basically, we're looking for anything aerodynamically nasty. Yeah, the Reliant is a problem aerodynamically. Well, they didn't really design it with this in mind, did they? Is there any wash out or wash in on the wings? It's basically simple, uh, symmetrical aeroforce. I don't know what you two are saying. Well, there's the aeroforce section of the no. wing. Right. He's just bought one. Look at this! <laughs> Number two, I'm having the wall extended through that wall down there <laughs> to add a new really, 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 really seriously uncool I'm section. I'm afraid that is true. Presenter, Obviously, if we buy one, one, we ruin the reputation of that car, which is why we put that over there. But this, the Ford GT, can at last come up here because yeah, I've got the red of it. It's a Ducati 1098. I'd like to put it forward to go on the board. In fact, I'd like to put it in the cool... I, I, seriously, no, there's every reason why this is a very, very cool bike. <laughs> It's an Italian superbike, but it isn't just technically very, very clever. It also looks beautiful. Again, at 
NASA, yeah. they don't keep a step ladder on the launch pad. One small step ladder. <laughs> Just stop laughing, they're getting really cross. Look at this idiot, caught on CCTV, larking about in his Reliant Robin. He was lucky not to kill someone. If we examine the footage more carefully, we see the really worrying thing. He wasn't even wearing a high-visibility jacket. That's toast! Oh, I like... I've decided making public information films, and I'm going to do one on speeding. No, really, I am. Honestly, I'm going to set you and May on fire, right? May gets on a motorcycle, goes really fast, see if he can put himself out. You stand still. Just, no, this is a bad idea, all right? And then I've got a skyscraper in it. But anyway, listen, I'll... <laughs> Fifteen minutes, James, and utter silence. I'm just making sure everything's right before I start. Start it now, then. It's very quiet. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Modern tractors <laughs> on a roll. Stop. 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 I think I did clip it. How many of these were there? None, since you did that. How did you, how did you get well, it? Well, it weighs 24 tons, it's What's very big, and you can't see you much when you're looking backwards. And I Frank, the Lamborghini tractor, they'll do Hold on, the sorry. That the... Sorry to interrupt, James, but will he understeer going round the hammerhead? No, no. as I was saying. <laughs> you're right, we have been lucky with this. Not, I mean, barely a cloud. No, no, it's, it is, it's gorgeous weather. Why do things stay that? hot in the thermos flask for less time than they oh, stay cold? Don't go there, and oh, yeah. how does it keep them hot at, in fact? The engine. In fact, the JCB GTI was so fast that even the Stig had trouble coping. Come on! No, slow is Look good, you it. fool! The last corner, Wait, turning it. in! <laughs> Two minutes, 57. Even the office's lack of wheels was no problem for my metal mammoth 1600 torques. Again, good effort. But to my mind, still lacking ambition. Classic. She's the epitome of cool. Wow, is your heart fluttering as you talk about it? <laughs> is your tongue gone really big? You yeah. <laughs> Will you two grow up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kristen Scott Thomas! You sound like a Yorkshireman, are you? I am a Yorkshireman, yeah. I used to live in Yorkshire, whereabouts? I'm Doncaster. Jeremy Clarkson's from Doncaster. He is from Doncaster. In fact, I know his mother very well. Do you? And I knew him when he was uh, in school. So you like him? 
I wouldn't say I like it, well. Oh yeah, this is easy now. The judges were not impressed. Marks for straightness, out to ten. Half. Still, at least I was doing better than James. What's he doing? May, you imbecile, you've got the entire earth stuck to the back of your plow. And use a method of ploughing they certainly wouldn't think of on the archers. Fire in the hole! Good. Ploughing done. I think this is the first thing we've ever filmed where I can do it and those two can't. Hit the telegraph pole. James, I'm begging you now to just drive the tractor into the field and do cultivating. Mercy, James, mercy. Just for one minute. Right, two hydraulic tubes, top link attached. Oh, for God's sake, James! Is that it? He's done the whole bloody lot. It's 25 acres and done it in 25 square inches. May, you're going to die. I'm going to feed you into your own machine. Oh, that's not a good time. Hello. Hamster. Oh, look at yes? How's it going? Really well, actually. You know what James has got? Yeah. A Saab. No, he's got an Alpha. No, it's a Saab. No, it's an Alpha. He's got an Alpha. Well, he definitely told me he'd got a Saab. So he doesn't know what car he's got. He doesn't even know what he's bought. <laughs> I was doing a damn sight better than Hammond. <laughs> bad, bad thing. Sorry. It's locked. I can't get in. The car's burning down before I've even built it. That's bad. That's bad. Jeremy had similar problems and couldn't even understand how the fire extinguisher works. Good, there's that one. Put this up for safety pins. That's fire. I'd been invited to number 10 to a one-on-one -on -one chat with the Prime Minister. So, I've, you know, put a suit. Oh. So you go down there, you're in number 10. Yeah. Sitting with him. Yeah. Did you vomit on him? No, you can't... You can't vomit on the Prime Minister, mate. No, no you can, if you had loads of cheese soup before you get there. <laughs> and then, like, some salt water... <laughs> ..all over him. You could easily have done that. No. You didn't. No, I didn't, no. Did you punch him in the face? No! on or punch the Prime Minister in the face, OK? How, I, how close were you to him at any one point? Well, I, I was sitting next to him. Look, there's a, there's a picture hanging on of us. There you see, there's it. You could have easily punched him in the face from there. You know? <laughs> he is him sick. No, just straight all over his leg and his cufflinks. No, look, I, I, that's Those not... are the two things that you're best at in the world. Being sick and, and punching people. <laughs> now, you know that new law about kids under four foot five, they have to use booster seats in the car. He does. Yes, all right. <laughs> all right. People under four foot five have to use a booster seat in the car. Yeah. Well, in North Yorkshire, the police say they cannot enforce that law. And do you know why? They do not have the... <laughs> <laughs> they do not have the legal... <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this now. The legal... Because they do not have the legal right to m measure children. <laughs> <laughs> to just measure them. Just to say, if you see a policeman measuring your children, you think, quick, call the... Oh. 